Hi there! This presentation is all about clinical life sciences and all the work that we do behind the scenes to care for our patients. So what is clinical life science? If you've ever had your blood drawn or peed in a cup or had your throat swabbed or your nose swabbed, those specimens were sent to a clinical laboratory for analysis. Your doctor wanted to investigate your symptoms or evaluate your health status, so he or she ordered some lab tests. Clinical laboratory scientists are well-educated professionals who work in clinic and hospital settings, analyzing specimens collected from patients. The clinical laboratory is an essential component in caring for patients because we provide objective data on which doctors can make important decisions about a patient's diagnosis, health status, or treatment plan. When students enter the clinical laboratory science training program in college, they can expect to take classes in the main disciplines of the lab, including hematology, urine and body fluid analysis, chemistry, blood banking, immunology, and microbiology. Hematology is a study of blood, but more specifically of the cells of the blood. So we look at white cells, red cells, and platelets. Clinical laboratory scientists use specialized machines to analyze how many white cells, red cells, and platelets are present in the blood. Then we make blood smears and stain them and then evaluate them under the microscope to look for any abnormalities in these white cells, red cells, and platelets to give us clues to what's going on with the patient and maybe what's going on with their bone marrow or any kind of disease process. The analysis of urine and other body fluids like cerebrospinal fluid or synovial fluid involves measuring substances such as glucose and identifying cells such as white blood cells, epithelial cells, or bacteria in these fluids, again, to assist the doctor in determining the cause of an infection or other disease. Students also learn microbiology, parasitology, and virology to identify the various organisms that could be causing the patient's symptoms. Microbiologists grow bacteria on auger plate, but also use newer techniques such as PCR and DNA sequencing to identify microbes. Immunology can also help diagnose different infections by looking for the body's reaction to those infections in the form of antibodies. The next discipline is chemistry. Chemistry techs run a lot of tests on the liquid portion of blood, which is plasma. They can test for things such as electrolytes and kidney function to see if a patient is dehydrated, for example. Chemistry techs can also check the blood sugar of diabetic patients and even see if they are compliant with their diabetic lifestyle. The chemistry test can evaluate most organ systems in your body. Lastly, the very important blood banking discipline in which techs learn how to find out your blood type and get any blood products ready to be safely transfused. It is very important to get the work right in blood banking because errors can have disastrous consequences. If this appeals to you, we are looking for students who are naturally curious, enjoy solving problems, and find biology and other science classes interesting. In high school, students can prepare for this career path by taking classes such as biology, anatomy, chemistry, and math. And additionally, I would recommend that you find a clinical laboratory scientist or a med tech at a local hospital or clinic to shadow and see if this is of interest to you. So if you love science, we hope that you consider joining our clinical laboratory science program at Arkansas State University and that you launch yourself in a very rewarding career in laboratory sciences. We need you desperately, so please join us.